Hello, everybody. You are on code on Puffic channel. Today we are going to throw a glance at the calendar module of Python. Main information, library classes, methods, attributes and examples with them. Take a seat comfortably. We are getting started. Before we start, please, give a like to this episode so more people can see it. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episodes. Let's go. The module allows you to output calendars like the Unix Cal program, and provides additional useful functions related to the calendar. By default, these calendars have Monday as the first day of the week, and Sunday as the last, the European Convention. We can change it. The functions and classes defined in this module use an idealized calendar, the current Gregorian calendar extended indefinitely in both directions. The calendar module has next classes. Calendar. Text calendar. Locale text calendar. HTML calendar. Locale HTML calendar. Let's move to examples of objects and their methods and attributes. Calendar object has next methods and attributes. First weekday, shows the current setting for the weekday to start each week. And get first weekday method returns the same. Eater month dates, return an iterator for the month, 1 to 12, in the year. This iterator will return all days as daytime date objects for the month. All days before the start of the month or after the end of the month that are required to get a complete week. Eater month days, return an iterator for the month in the year similar to eater month dates, but not restricted by the daytime date range. Days returned will simply be day of the month numbers. For the days outside of the specified month, the day number is zero. Eater month days do, the same as eater month days, but days returned will be tuples consisting of a day of the month number and a weekday number. Eater month days 3, the same as eater month days, but days returned will be tuples consisting of a year, a month and a day of the month numbers. Eater month days 4, the same as eater month days, but days returned will be tuples consisting of a year, a month, a day of the month, and a day of the week numbers. Eater weekdays, return an iterator for the weekday numbers that will be used for one week. The first value from the iterator will be the same as the value of the first weekday property. Month dates calendar, return a list of the weeks in the month of the year as full weeks. Weeks are lists of seven daytime date objects. Month days calendar, return a list of the weeks in the month of the year as full weeks. Weeks are lists of seven day numbers. Month days to calendar, return a list of the weeks in the month of the year as full weeks. Weeks are lists of seven tuples of day numbers and weekday numbers. Year dates calendar, return the data for the specified year ready for formatting. The return value is a list of month rows. Each month row contains up to width months, defaulting to 3. Each month contains between 4 and 6 weeks and each week contains 1 to 7 days. Days are daytime date objects. Year days calendar, return the data for the specified year ready for formatting, similar to year dates calendar. Entries in the week lists are day numbers. Day numbers outside this month are zero. Year days to calendar, similar to year days calendar. Entries in the week lists are tuples of day numbers and weekday numbers. Day numbers outside this month are zero. 
Set first weekday, method to set the first day of week. Text calendar object has next methods. Format month, return a month's calendar in a multi-line string. We can write to the file and see it more visibly. Format year, return a M column calendar for an entire year as a multi-line string. Optional parameters W, L, and C are for date column width, lines per week, and number of spaces between month columns, respectively. The earliest year for which a calendar can be generated is platform dependent. We can write it to file and see it more visibly. Per month, print a month's calendar as returned by format month. Per year, print the calendar for an entire year as returned by format year. Locale text calendar object. This subclass of text calendar can be passed a locale name in the constructor and will return month and weekday names in the specified locale. HTML calendar object has next methods and attributes. Format month, return a month's calendar as an HTML table. If with year is true, as default, the year will be included in the header. Let's put it in HTML file. Format year, return a year's calendar as an HTML table. Width, defaulting to 3, specifies the number of months per row. Let's put it in HTML file. Format year page, return a year's calendar as a complete HTML page. Width, defaulting to 3, specifies the number of months per row. 
CSS is the name for the cascading style sheet to be used. Let's try it. HTML Calendar has the following attributes you can override to customize the CSS classes used by the calendar. CSS Classes, a list of CSS classes used for each weekday. CSS Class Not A, the CSS class for a weekday occurring in the previous or coming month. There is no attribute CSS Class Week. CSS Class Month, the CSS class for the whole month's table. CSS Class Year, the CSS class for the whole month's table. CSS Classes Weekday Head, a list of CSS classes used for weekday names in the header row. The default is the same as CSS Classes. CSS Class Month Head, the month's head CSS class. CSS Class Year Head, the CSS class for the table head for the whole year. Locale HTML Calendar, this subclass of HTML Calendar can be passed a locale name in the constructor and will return month and weekday names in the specified locale. Calendar has number of day constants that are used for setting first weekday. Is leap, returns true if year is a leap year, otherwise false. Leap days, returns the number of leap years in the range from Y1 to Y2, exclusive, where Y1 and Y2 are years. Weekday, returns the day of the week, zero is Monday. Week header, return a header containing abbreviated weekday names, and specifies the width and characters for one weekday. Month range, returns weekday a first day of the month and number of days in month, for the specified year and month. Month Calendar, returns a matrix representing a month's calendar. Each row represents a week, days outside of the month are represented by zeros. Per month, prints a month's calendar as returned by month. Month, returns a month's calendar in a multi-line string. Prickle, prints the calendar for an entire year as returned by calendar. Calendar, returns a three-column calendar for an entire year as a multi-line string. Time GM. An unrelated but handy function that takes a time tuple such as returned by the GM time function in the time module, and returns the corresponding Unix timestamp value, assuming an epoch of 1970. Day name, an array that represents the days of the week in the current locale. Day abbreviated, 
an array that represents the abbreviated days of the week in the current locale. Month name, an array that represents the months of the year in the current locale. This follows normal convention of January being month number 1, so it has a length of 13 and month underscore name 0, is the empty string. Month abbreviated, an array that represents the abbreviated months of the year in the current locale. This follows normal convention of January being month number 1, so it has a length of 13 and month underscore abbreviated 0, is empty str, Thank you for watching. Please, give a like for support this channel. Write comments. Share with friends. And subscribe to see new series. Be safe. Bye.